Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode one of a new Let's Play of something that's more of a Let's Try. We're going to try this game. Um, it's very cool. I've only played a few minutes of it, but I'm very interested in playing more. I don't know how much I'm going to play, but we'll see. We'll learn the game together. We'll go on this journey together, as always. So I hope you join me for episode one and beyond of Let's Play Bludgeons and Krakens. You may not have heard of this game, it's a bit obscure, but it is a CRPG, and uh, it's pretty cool. Let's double-click it. It's not on Steam. And we'll get greeted by the Kraken itself. And it's Bludgeons and Krakens, and it's a keyboard-only game, I believe. So I'm using the arrow keys. Let's check out options. Sound, music, health bars, scrolling text, type messages, autosave, full screen, skip intro, no, speed 50%. Okay. Uh, let's hit new and see what happens. Enter a name. Um, how about Irion? We'll go with the male. Fighter, paladin, ranger, rogue, druid. Uh, let's go through them. Fighter rely on steel to solve their problems. They deal heavy melee damage and terrify their foes with wild battle cries. They charge through enemy ranks, fiercer with each foe they fell. Um, Paladin, guard themselves with holy words. They mend wounds, ward off the undead, and bless their weapons and armor with great power. They redeem the souls of the fallen for mana. Three, Ranger. Rangers are at home in the wilderness. Their keen eyesight allows them to fire arrows from afar rapidly or with precision. They can ensnare their foes and call upon animal familiars. Rogues fight swiftly and by any means they can dual wield more effectively and unleash a flurry of blows in an instant. They lace their weapons with poisons and evade attacks with ease. And Druid. Druids are vessels of raw power. They can mold elements into bolts of deadly energy or take on elemental aspects themselves. Their concentration allows them to cast spells more efficiently. So I'm going to be... I usually like to play a rogue in a CRPG, but... Paladin sounds pretty interesting. Guard themselves with holy words. They mend wounds, ward off the undead, and bless their weapons and armor with great power. And they redeem souls of the fallen for mana. So let's go ahead and try something totally different from what I'm used to. And go ahead and be a paladin. Yurion, a male paladin, is correct. And here we are. It is an old school J uh, CRPG. Let's check our journal first of all. The Awakening. I've arrived in Abraxas and must seek out and defeat the demons that plague this land. I can speak to Morgan in Norsford if I have any questions about my task. Otherwise, I should set out immediately. Beast defeated, zero out of seven. We can talk to people. We can get. We can check our equipment. We're wearing a chainmail, which is mundane armor, 10 defense, cloth boots, 1 defense, worn mantle, 3 defense, a leather shield, 5 block, and an iron sword, one-handed sword, 5 damage. We can check our inventory. We're carrying a torch, light up the darkness, lasts for 400 turns, a loaf of bread, restores 10 HP, lesser healing potion, restores 100 HP, and a mana potion, restores 100 MP. Uh, bindings. We have cure wounds, rank one. Heals fifty percent of our wisdom, which is our wisdom is thirty, so fifteen, and costs hundred MP. Where we have up there two hundred MP and two hundred HP and five hundred gold pieces. Um, skills. All we have is cure wounds. Uh, we can wait, rest, journal, map. We're in Norseford. There's a fighter trainer. We can check out these other settlements. There is Den of Blood. Huh, I guess it doesn't name them until we've explored them. What's this down here? Exiton. Serpent's Valley. There's more map down here. There's Lichford. And we'll see more of it as we go. It's a big map. Character. There's our character. We're a level 1 paladin. 30 strength, 20, and, th and it tells us what it does. The strength is damage. Intelligence, 20. MP slash spell critical hit. Wisdom is 30. Spell power, spell defense. Constitution is 20. HP. 
Dexterity is 20, critical hit dodge, and charisma is 20, buy, sell, persuade. Damage is 36 to 40, hit chance 75%, critical hit 2%, spell critical hit 2%, defense 14%, spell defense 3%, block 5%, dodge 2%, parry 5%, and a perk of redemption. You attempt to redeem the souls of those you slay, granting you additional magic points. Okay, let's get into it and talk to you. What's your business? Um, I'm the new recruit. You picked a hell of a time to enlist. I suggest you start your quest in the town of Lichford. Anywhere else you get your ass kicked, at least until you improve your skills and gear. Lichford lies to the south of here, through the mountain pass and beyond the forest. Here's some gold for provisions. That's all I have for you. So, we can say thanks, or I need more than that, but it requires 30 charisma, so thanks. Any questions? Um, what is the Argent Shield? By the old father's cheeks, you expect me to believe you signed up on a whim? We're mercenaries, all right? We're the last line of defense here with the military suffocated by the orcs. Where are the other recruits? They're dead. Only reason we called you in, honestly. Anything else? I can say what's my quest again. You forgot already. That bodes well. The beasts of destruction. Big ugly demons. Seven of them. No one knows how they got here. You need to kill them. You can remember that, right? Mm, that's all. Farewell. All right, so let's explore the first town here. Come in here, talk to you. Don't be alarmed by my friend here. He's only half-orc. Mother's side. Makes holidays complicated, for sure. Huh. That person has a quest. This person, we can buy f stuff from. Food, beer, and a torch. We now have 2,000 GP, so I'll buy two more torches. Um, talk to you. Ferith, are you a traveler? Abraxas doesn't see many visitors nowadays, what with all the death and decay and such. Can break this barrel and get a beer. Restores 25 MP. Let's talk to this quest giver. When the orcs moved into Serpent's Valley, they established a base of operations in the Den of Blood just south of town. One second, guys. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about the cut. Um... I actually got into something and forgot what I was doing, but... When the orcs moved into Serpent's Valley, they established a base of operations in the Den of Blood just south of town. They have a commander station there, Gorgazon. If you kill him, it'll put all of our minds at ease, at least for a while. It won't be easy. Gorgazon is a skilled sorcerer and almost always attended by a number of guards. Are you up to the task? Will you kill Gorgazon? Um, I'll take him out. Be careful, stranger. Though the orcs lack sophistication, they are crafty in the arts of war. Return to me once Gorgazon is dead. Journal updated. Um, so let's go ahead and continue our exploration. Let's come down here. It looks like a shield on the door, so this would be a defensive shop. Nothing in the barrels. So, Leah, got anything that'll accentuate my pristine physique? Jasper. Um, stay alive out there. We can spend money on a helmet which we don't currently have um only one we can use right now this requires 36 strength it's a nice one we'll go ahead and buy the uh defender's cap for five defense then we've got a couple boots hunter striders we don't have the dexterity for but we have leather boots three defense let's see if um our current boots. Uh, I guess we can't compare. Is there? Oh, control compare. There we go. Yeah, these will be an upgrade. So we'll buy these. Um, a cloak. Almost any cloak would be an upgrade. Wanderer's cloak. It's a magic cloak. Six defense, plus five strength, plus ten dex. For 504, we'll go ahead and buy that. And I guess that... Oh, we still have an armor to buy. Um, chain mail and leather vest. I think we have a chain mail. Let's control and compare. Yeah. And finally, there's an Adept's robe, which we don't want. So let's go ahead and sell items. Um, oh, we don't want to sell arrows and keys. Let's go ahead and equip this stuff. Let's put the helmet on. Five defense. The leather boots. And the wanderer's cloak. Talk to her again. And sell items. Sell the boots for one. And the mundane cloak for one. So we've got a bit of a better defensive standing. Uh, we could get the... Oh, we can get the Brawler's Shield now. It counts. And the Hunter's Striders. Wait a minute. Because of those buffs that we're getting, we can actually put this on. 
11 block plus 14 strength, 12 con, 6 dexterity. So let me see if I buy that. And go to my inventory if I can actually equip it. I can. <laughs> Look at those stats now, baby. Let's go ahead and sell that for 12. And um, can I afford the, uh, the boots for 486? I can. Magic boots, four defense, five intelligence, ten dexterity. Let's go ahead and buy those babies and put them on. And sell these leather boots. Wow, so we're already upgraded, but we're down to 129 gold. So let's exit there and uh, check these barrels. Here's a weapon shop. Johan, Johan, need a blade or a bludgeon, maybe a bow? Uh, Mercenary's Blade, 14 damage compared to 5 damage, wow. We should probably go ahead and buy that. We can't afford this other stuff. Heart Stopper, Mundane Dagger. Iron Axe does more damage. Uh, let's go ahead and buy that. Equip it, the Mercenary's Blade. Equip in main hand. Sell the... Iron Sword. And let's be off. This is a potion shop, it looks like. Uh, we can buy a scroll of return. They're 90. Uh, we don't have the intelligence. Antidote. Can't afford the other potions. Might want to buy an antidote, but we'll see. Let's come down here, actually. And loot this. Locked. Oh, I guess we can't bludgeon it down. This is a accessory shop, maybe? Yeah. Resilient gold loop, different accessories that we can't afford. Whoops. Lloyd, interested in buying this house? 9,000 gold? No. Let's come in here and search this box. We get a Drought of Constitution. Increases your con by 40 for 10, 100 turns. Get out of my house, says Larry. And there's something here. Torch. Rinthor. Oh, a visitor. How nice. Let's try to read his books. The Enigma of the Stones. As most travelers come to discover, Abraxas is home to a number of enigmatic stone structures arranged in a sort of pentagram shape. No one knows what their purpose is. Some say they were once used for forbidden rituals of resurrection. Others say their function was for mis magical transportation. Others say they are simply the product of some mystical creator who put them there, found them to be wholly unnecessary, and couldn't be bothered to remove them. Whatever the case may be, the stones still stand today and are popular sites for tourists. Stones, you say? Oh, what is this? A weapon skill shop? Arthur, here for training, are you? You have zero skill points. Oh, we can learn different things with skill points. Okay. The Dishonored Dead. The history of the Abraxian monarchy abounds with tales of mischief, backstabbing, and magic. But perhaps most memorable to the Abraxian people today is the theft of old King Ulrich's skull. Ulrich, first king of Abraxas, was laid to rest in the royal mausoleum, as became tradition, and his tomb was hidden to dissuade potential pillagers. Nevertheless, it so happened that one skilled thief slipped by all defenses and made off with nothing but the king's skull, ignoring the other treasures of the tomb. Neither he nor Ulrich's skull was ever found. This great disturbance brought forth a terrible curse upon Duskhaven and its mausoleum, and the, as the ancestral dead rose from their graves, and sought vengeance for their wronged king. The mausoleum was quickly barricaded and the curse contained, for now. The Twin Kings, in an age when time itself was newborn, two brothers traversed the universe in search of a world fit for their people. When at last they found the world of Girimu, 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 they said, Verily, this is pretty good. <laughs> the eldest brother proclaimed himself to be the All-Father, the Lord of Girimu, and henceforth he shunned his own brother from the throne. Why, brother, spoke the younger, dost thou so condemn me? Is it not better that we lead us two kings? The All-Father replied, Nay, for thou, art, for thou art vainglorious, and that shall be thy name. Interesting. 
a history of Giramu. The map of Giramu as we understand it today consists of two main continents, Illyria to the west and the eastern continent of Valgaroth containing Archon to the north and Abraxas to the south. Beyond these lands lie vast perilous seas where dark things lurk. After conquering much of Illyria shortly after his reign began, the Orc King extended his hand to Abraxas and conflicts persist to this day. The North has not seen the wrath of the Orcs, but has been plagued by its own perils, with the throne in turmoil following the mysterious disappearance of its king. The Sleepers Beneath the Sea The Krakens are said to be the oldest inhabitants of Girimu, as wise as they are powerful. They were once worshipped as gods, and their temple still stands scattered across the land. In Abraxas, a temple lies on a small island just off of the southern coast. Today, even entering the temples is forbidden to all and access remains guarded by the most powerful trusted druids on Girimu. The Krakens have remained dormant for many years, but some druids fear they may one day awaken and bring destruction to our world. So as you can see, pretty freaking cool lore. I mean, come on. This is interesting stuff. We have to go to Lichford, so can I save? I guess we don't save, we just go. Um... Attack, get... Can't attack a tree. Water. Uh, this would be the Den of Blood, I guess. Uh, can we try our hand with an orc first and see how it works? You seem evenly matched. Okay. Gain 100 XP, you slay the orc sorcerer. Oof. The orc destroyer is kicking my butt. How do we use a potion? Inventory. Go ahead and use a lesser healing potion. Orc Slayer. Got him, but at what cost? Flee the battle, yes. We have a chest. 103 gold. Heart of the Beast, Magic Accessory, 12 Strength, 10 Con, 13 Dexterity, and an Antidote. Let's go ahead and equip that Heart of the Beast. Nice. Let's head back to... What was this place? Rockford? Norsford. And, um... Can we rest here? That's not your bed. Rest for one. Ah, that got us back up. There doesn't seem to be a food um, buy another lesser healing potion. There doesn't seem to be a food system, so that's okay. Um, we're six hundred. Oh, there's a lot of orcs. How do I wait, W? Oh, I have a Cure Wound spell, too. Let's try to fight a few orcs. Ooh, 30 gold. A Shield of Evasion. A magic Shield. Plus 8 Dexterity. And a Pendant of Warning. Plus 25 Wisdom and 5 Defense. Uh, we have to put it in the accessory slot. Either 25 Wisdom or 12 Strength, 10 Con. We'll take the Heart of the Beast and the Magic Shields. We're better off with the Brawler Shields. We can certainly sell those. Oh dang, there's a lot of them. Ow. 
Ouch. We're gonna die here. They're too tough. I can't believe I leveled up, it seems, no? Okay, we've got to drink a potion and hope for the best. Got him. Oh, another battle? Flee the battle. We've got 107 gold, a one hand of justice, one-handed mace. That looks nice. 16 damage, 7 intelligence, 10 wisdom. A fierce steel slayer, magic two-handed axe. 65 damage, 5 wisdom, 6 charisma, a potion, and hunter striders. Which we own, I think, and are wearing. Um, let's see. Do we go for the damage and... How do I see... Uh, go to equipment. We have 14 damage, but this thing has a, le a lot of stats on it. So I'm just going to use the... One-handed hand of justice. A little more damage, but more importantly, we get the stat boosts from it. Hunter Striders are exactly the same. Um, let's go ahead and enter Norseford and do some trading. Because we've got some good items. Uh, go ahead and sell shield for 91. Hunter Striders for 70. The Axe goes for 105. Berlin goes for 3. 97. We're up to 327. Uh, I don't know if I want to delete, get rid of that yet. We don't have the price for the Warrior's Helm yet, but we'll come back and get that. Oh, the barrels respawn. Let's go ahead and rest for one hour. I don't think we're ready for the Den of Blood. Uh, maybe we should just enter and see what it's like. Oh, this is cool. Oh my gosh. Use a torch, bro. coins, a torch, a gnarled staff of command, which requires 45 intelligence, and we have 32, and a lantern for advanced darkness. Um, I guess we can go a little far, and can they spawn behind us, I wonder? I didn't know what it was. Uh, thankfully, there's an auto save. Okay, the enemy did not spawn this time. Fire pits. Rizoct. Use a potion. Okay. That was a little 
too hard. I don't know what the quick save button is. F5, F3, F2, F1, F6, F7, F8. Um, if I go to quit and look at the options, uh, one second, guys. All right, I'm sorry about that. Um, trying to figure out the quick save button. Oh, is that the quick save? Or can we press Q? Q brings that up. You pick your nose and think about eating it, but you don't. <laughs> that was my weight button. All right, let's come in here and try to level up a bit. Those are some kind of traps. Hmm. 56 gold, a balanced halberd that does 70 damage. Inspiring, excuse me, armor of fate. 11 defense, 11 intelligence, 7 constitution, 5 dexterity. Better than the chain mail for sure. What is it? One more defense, 11 intelligence, 7 con, 5 dex. And not only are we leveling up, but we could probably go back and sell a few things and buy... Um, the warrior's helmet. might be a little too tough. We're hanging in there. Ah! Got it. And proficiency with maces went to 26. Redemption restores 25 MP. Let's go ahead. Let's use our abilities. Um, bindings. Cure wounds restores 20 HP. Maybe by using it more, we can level it up more. Oh, there's a chest, 95 gold, and necromancy for dummies, an accessory. Five intelligence, 10 wisdom. Let's rest for one, but we were attacked. Flee the battle, yes. Rest for one. Okay, we can rest in here. We're a level two paladin. Um, let me go see what that entails. A key. 97 gold. Where am I in here? I thought I just... Torch. I thought I just... Oh, I know where I'm at. Gotta go this way. I'm not quite ready to fight any big guns yet. fight these orcs though, why not? Remember to wait to let them come to us. Oh, you can shoot through the tree. Did not realize that. Nice. We're starting to handle our business a bit better. Fun little game. Gnarled Staff of Command. Needle of Destiny. 38 damage, 6 intel, 4 wisdom, 10 dex, and 10 arrows. Let's go ahead and put on that Needle of Destiny. 38 damage, 6 intel, 4 wisdom, 10 dex. For the mace, just 16. Now let's go here and probably buy the Warrior's Helm. Magic items are not. Uh, or are pretty much flying around here. Let's sell the chainmail, the halberd, the necromancer for, for dummies, the gnarled staff of command. Now we can go ahead and buy mm, the warrior's helm, six defense, ten strength, five con. Let's go ahead and equip that bad boy. 
ahead and sell that and the mace. Yeah, I guess. We don't have many inventory slots, so we've got to be careful with what we keep. We can sell that now and... I don't know. Sell it. Keep our inventory light. Alright, uh... Are there any accessories that we could possibly buy? We have 337. Oh, we have skill points. Let's come here. We can get... This requires axe mace. This requires sword spear. We can get sprint. Dash in a chosen direction. If you run into an enemy and have a melee weapon equipped, you will strike them for normal damage. Good for closing in on casters. Battle cry, duration two. Howl with rage, sending your foes to scatter in fear. <sighs> We're going to go ahead and hold off on this for now. I can press one train attributes. You have five attribute points. Um, plus one con. Um, plus one charisma. Plus one con, plus one strength, and plus one charisma. Alright. And nothing I really want to buy yet. Now we can try the Den of Blood for real. And, uh... See how it goes. Another key. Ten arrows. Bit of a storage room. Food. Aged cheese. Let's come up this way. Sorcerer's Crown, 2 Defense, 6 Wisdom, 5 Constitution. More arrows. That's all that's in here. This is the way in. We can't bypass these traps yet. Oh. Daggers increases too. Dang, we're not proficient with daggers. That's gonna hurt us. That's gonna hurt us big time. We're doing major damage though. Major damage. 112 gold, gloves of temperance, magic gloves, four strength, six wisdom, and frilly boots of excellence, two defense, ten charisma. So we haven't found any gloves except these now, and go ahead and take those. Um, should probably rest for one hour. Avoid the traps. Head over this way. Quick save. It's a very friendly game to get back into if you die, which I like. Go this way. What is that? A pit of some sort? Yeah. I just walked into it like a dummy for a hundred damage. see with daggers is going up quickly though there we go ten arrows and a hand of justice okay that's if we go up there what if 
we go down further. We've got a poison vial, a favorite of rogues. Probably rest for one hour. Unlock door, yes. Get our key back. Save could be uh, coming up on a boss here. Two hundred three gold. A scroll of blizzard. Do not have the intelligence. Freeze all enemies for five turns. Hundred gold. A heroic longbow. Magic bow. Forty damage. Eleven con. Fix fifteen dex. Five charisma. That's a very nice item. Okay. Here we go. Orc Slayer. Come on. Come on. We're doing horribly. They're bleeding out. Or no, they're restoring. We gain, we're victorious. Orcish Dagger. Kills restore 15 to 30 MP. 52 damage plus 20 dex. Mythic, it's a mythic dagger. Plus we've got 140 gold, an antidote, and a vanguard's glaive. Gonna rest for an hour. Um, torches are going to be at a premium, I see. Let's go ahead and equip the Mythic Dagger. It's more damage. Yeah, beautiful. We're running out of inventory space, though. That was a very nice find. Let's quick save. We just gotta get better with daggers. Torch. Okay, inventory's full for now. We should head back to town soon. We're doing fabulously. Should actually save our game first and... To gold, a torch, inventory is full. Okay, so let's go to the inventory. Let's eat a loaf of bread. Let's eat an aged cheese. And uh, let's grab the torch and the tracker's gloves. Are the tracker's gloves better? Four strength, six wisdom. 5 Intel, 8 Dexterity. We'll keep the 4 Strength, 6 Wisdom. And um, I think I'm going to save here. Call it an episode. But we get a torch, a duelist sword, gloves of temperance, and a lesser healing potion. But we've got to empty the inventory. Um, going to 
just drink a beer, eat a loaf of bread. Um, take a torch and a potion. We'll go ahead and use another torch and grab the duelist sword. And then we should probably make our way back to town soon, but I have a feeling we're getting pretty near the boss. Oh, my co my controls are bonked because of the drunken status. <laughs> and I'm going to save here and say thank you for joining me. Um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I guess there's no way to name a file. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you join me on this journey. It's going to be a lot of fun slaying monsters, leveling up our gear, and leveling up our character, and keeping the story and lore, which is also very cool. Krakens. Awesome. Much love, peace, and joy to you all, and uh, stay tuned. Much more to come. I don't know how much more, but we're definitely going to play a bit more. Uh, it's very fun so far, so I hope you'll join me. Peace out, guys.